Hello again, my friends! Welcome back to the Minecraft Let's Play episode. I almost thought that was the Screaming Sun from Rick and Morty for some reason. And my name is System Z. Welcome back to the Winter Wonderland project. As you guys may remember, it's looking as messy as ever. I actually built some houses. Let's check out that footage! All right, wasn't that nice? <laughs> yeah, I'm stepping up my editing game. What you know of it? Let's get rid of this block. Get out of the sky. You're not welcome. Okay. <laughs> Boop. No, I don't want that there either. I'm gonna just throw it away. But guys, today is gonna be a pretty cool day because we're actually gonna do some landscaping. I've been building these houses now. I'm sick of it. Look at it. It's ugly. No, it's actually not bad, but it definitely looks weird. I got this comment that on this house, someone. <laughs> Someone was like, WTF is that house, and you know what, I agree, but that's the thing, that's the thing about this style, is that it's not really meant to look great and conventional, it's meant to look different, and let me, let me go into spectator mode, let me just quickly fly, he's cheating, ooh, <laughs> yeah, call me out on it, <laughs> it's a rule, okay, you guys get it, um, check it out though, you can kind of see that because they are curved, they go with the road and the landscaping. And I'm not really the best at it, like I'm not gonna lie, these don't look the greatest, but it's definitely better than just doing square houses all over the place. The only way you can get better at building is if you try something new. And that is the lesson that you will learn today. <laughs> now, as you guys know, one of my most inspired YouTubers, or well, I guess someone I get inspired from the most, is none other than Good Times with Scar. Now, he is a kind of good channel friend. Uh, we have done a cool few things with him. You know, the uh, Halloween build battle we did a couple years back. That was pretty cool. He's a landscaping king, and he has motivated me. I want to do something with this pathway. Now, I have a general layout. Check it out. Boom. It's on screen now. Isn't that a beautiful house or design? Like, I'm just, I'm talented. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I, I want to make this kind of curve inside and then have this overhang and then wrap around here and go up here. This is where the central town will be up here. But anyways, I've got cool ideas. Anyways, welcome to the Minecraft Let's Play. Let's, let's get started. <laughs> All right, isn't that nice? I just love doing those editing features. <laughs> I think that's really what makes this series shine. Guys, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed that, and subscribe. We're almost at 25,000 subscribers, which is the goal for the year. It's crazy. But anyways, let's start digging. So I want this to just kind of, you know, go through the mountain here. So I'm just going to mess it up. That's all we're going to do is just mess it up. Because half of this stuff isn't even going to be here. I'm going to landscape it and make it look custom. That's the plan anyways. Hopefully it'll look decent. But I needed just a good tunnel working space and a good shape to work with. So that'll do it. Just like that. Just like that. I know what you're thinking. This is looking hideous. What are you doing? This is how you start. And you'll see, because I'm about to show you guys how to build an awesome little walkway, uh, that this is how you basically start. You create a general shape and then carve it out. Now, like I said in the beginning of this episode, the theme for today, because what I'd like to start doing is doing themes every episode, is pretty much to try something you don't normally do. And I usually do very customary, you know, walkways, nothing special. But I don't want to do that anymore. I think that looks hideous. I want to do something special for this town, which we're only going to work on for a couple more episodes. I don't want it to be a crazy long project. Um, but I've definitely got cool ideas. But this is essentially what we've got so far. I want to have it overhanging and kind of wrapping around like this is an area where snow fell. I want icicles to be drooping down. All that kind of stuff. But in order to do that, I actually need to extend this out and edit it a little bit. So what I'm going to do is start working on that and just, you know, do some cool editing as we do. And make it look a little bit better on the outside so that way we can properly start working on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. You know what I forgot to show you guys? The interior. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is the house we built on the last episode. I kind of cleaned it up a little bit and just wanted to show you what's possible with the interior. 
Uh, because of its weird curves and everything, you can really shape out the interior any way you want by adding like walls and stuff, uh, which is one of the things I do love about it. So we've got this little nice cozy sofa area, the furnace of course, and then over here is where I'm going to put like our storage stuff in our bed. So yeah, that's looking cool, but that's not the point of the episode, this is. So I've made a little bit of progress, and I did show, you know, a little montage clip of it, hopefully. But there's really not much that I did. I mean, I just kind of cleaned this up a little bit. Uh, it's not complete either. <laughs> and then kind of shaped this out. There's really nothing to doing that pre-stages. Just building out, you know, the cliffs and the side of the mountain and everything. Uh, most of it came from this side over here because I wanted it to be a sheer hill instead of a, uh, you know, smooth slope. <laughs> but yeah, so now we're actually going to work on this area and I've got everything I need in this box. About everything anyways, I hope anyways. Uh, but what we're going to do first is I guess get some, uh, ooh, I need stone. Do I have any stone? Gosh, I really have, I hope I have stone over here. I don't. Oh wait, that's the inner chest. Yes, I do. <laughs> oh man, that scared me. I thought for a minute, I was like, you know what? That That's my inner chest. But yeah, so I need to actually change some of these out to uh, stone. So that's what we're going to do first. And we'll just kind of randomly place these within. Now, what I'm going to do is really not worry about the pathway on camera because the pathway itself isn't what's important. It's going to be what surrounds it. So there's one thing I want to do before I actually build out the pathway and you know add the details like the andesite and everything and that is the snow. So one of the most important features here is going to be really making this feel closed in. So I want it to look like snow has been falling off and piling up over here and then over here. And the way to do that is of course, you know, stack it up and all of that kind of stuff. I want to leave some spaces for tall grass, but overall we'll do that and just kind of really get it piled up here. Uh, and that probably should actually be removed now that I think about it. But yeah, so basically doing that, we can kind of make it look like it's really been stacking up over time. But the important part is going to be right here. So you're going to think I'm crazy, but I'm going to stack this up really, really high, just like that. <laughs> and that's it. I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Basically, what we're going to do now is start to really smooth it out, but I want this to just look like a huge pile of snow that fell on the ground, and it's going to act like a divider, basically, which is essentially the whole thing. That's really more than half of this build altogether. Basically, just making this look like a giant pile of snow fell off the edge, and what it's going to do is close it in. And I've already used, like, all of the snow I had built out, which is so sad. But I want it to look like someone just, you know, carved through, so you can kind of get an idea of that now. And uh, then we need to start cleaning this up a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is start adding a few extra details over here, like ice and, you know, diorite for the kind of frozen rock, all that kind of stuff. So it's going to look pretty cool once it's all said and done. Uh, but that is the, that's essentially what I wanted to do on camera. I wanted to show you this technique. It basically just looks like a large slum, or sum of snow, not slum. <laughs> large sum of snow just piled up and then pushed to the side. So that's kind of the technique I'm doing here. And we're going to do the same on this side, but I need to collect more resources first. But let me go ahead and actually build out the pathway itself and get that decorated and placed in. That way we can start doing the sides and make it look kind of nice. So that's what we're going to do. And I don't know if I'm going to show that on camera or anything because I've already done a lot of <laughs> editing bits. And we got to have some balance. So let me just do this and I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, the pathway has started to kind of come out as you can see here. And the idea is that this is supposed to be just kind of a nice warm area. Not necessarily warm, but just <laughs> a place where the snow hasn't necessarily fallen yet. But I do want to add some snow here and there because obviously people would track snow in. That just makes sense. So what we're going to start doing is adding a little bit of snow here and there, but not on every single grass block. Just kind of barely in the way. And then it's going to kind of stack in some areas and not in others. And this eventually will be extended. I'm not going to worry about this for now. Uh, but then, that was really simple actually. <laughs> I'm hoping that this will fill out a full episode because I really don't have much else planned. Um, I am currently in New York, by the way. Hopefully uh, this episode has come out on time and properly. But yeah, if, if so, I am definitely already in New York. I went to the uh, New York for holidays basically to visit uh, Mrs. System Z's family. So that is where I am currently. Uh, so I have to pre-record these. So if I don't really have a long episode, <laughs> I'm very sorry. It's just that, you know, uh, timing is not perfect at the moment. But anyways, I want to start kind of drooping down some stone here to kind of make it look really cavey. That's right, cavey. 
That's the word I just said. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to start kind of doing stuff like that, which actually is perfect as it is now. And then maybe do that. Yeah, I think that'll look good. And then what I want to do is get some ice and do that whole droop down effect that we've been kind of doing lately. And we'll do that in random spots because that's really what this is supposed to look like is some sort of iced over cave, really. So we're going to do kind of in random spots like that and then tuck it into the top just like this. Boom. That's a good one. That's an actual icicle. And then we'll do some in the corners as well. I just, I really want this to look frozen. That's the whole point. <laughs> And uh, if we don't have these, then it won't do that. So we, we definitely have to have them. No, we're out of glass. I think I have more over here, though. But anyways, how are you guys doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. I feel like I haven't actually started the episode out properly until I've said that. Uh, I, I really thank you, by the way, because you guys seem to really enjoy last episode and the episode before that. It's been crazy how much more, like, attention these videos have been getting. Like, I talk about it every day, but... Ah, uh, you guys, if you can only be in my seat. <laughs> <coughs> uh, random coughing attack there. It has been crazy is all I'm trying to say, but uh, okay Let's try and stack up some snow over here as well This outside's supposed to look really really snowed over because this whole place from up top is gonna look like a snowstorm Just came through and wrecked the place But I also need to add some ice over here and do the same thing up top a little bit and just kind of build out this perfectly snowed over area but that is, that's basically the goal. And I'm going to do that for all little landscape areas. Just not as tunnel-y like this. <laughs> man, today in the words, man. I've got some awesome vocabulary today. <laughs> tunnel-y. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're going to do that. And I think that should actually do it for that. Now, really, the only thing I'd like to do is... I'm forgetting my words. I forgot what it was that I wanted to do. Oh yeah, one special thing. This is something that I feel like only works in these types of areas. Adding diorite to the area. It makes the stone look like it's frozen, and I think that fits perfectly. Diorite in any other situation is not the greatest. Not gonna lie, but if you try it in a snow biome, it actually blends in pretty well. So give it a shot, guys, if you haven't already. I definitely recommend it. And if you have built with diorite, send me a photo on Twitter. I'd love to see what you've come up with. Uh, but yeah, so just very, very small amounts of diorite will do. We don't really need too much, but it just adds a nice, you know, balance to the stone and the grays and everything. And I'm probably full of it, to be honest, but <laughs> uh, I don't know. I like using it in these situations. And then I'm going to add some stone there. Probably doesn't really fit, actually. Let's remove that and do that. And uh, I think it's actually starting to come together. There's really only one more thing that we need to do, and that is add leaves. But what I want to do is go through everything and make sure I've added the correct amount of snow. Uh, and I know that sounds weird, like <laughs> how much snow is correct, you know what I mean? But I want to just make sure it all looks balanced. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to switch back and forth from spectator mode quite a bit. Uh, but this area also needs to kind of wrap around. So I'm going to get going on that, and then we will kind of see where we're left off with the last little pieces, because this is actually starting to come to finish. Um, by the way, this is this house. I think I showed it already. I have not done the interior. I don't know how I'm going to do it, because it's pretty crazy. But <laughs> overall, it looks all right. But yeah, okay, so let me do what I said I was going to do, and I will be right back. All right, let's take a walk through now. This is the pathway, and it is looking pretty good. Man, I love the way that looks, and I need to do it over there as well, but there's some more stuff we're doing over there. As you can see, there's a, a little sign that says church. <laughs> so I'm going to leave that kind of open, but I'm going to make it slope a little bit better because I want to be able to see, like, the point of the church building. But anyways, I got distracted there. This is the pathway. So this is supposed to look like it was all once snow and just caved in and then cleared out. That's basically what they've done here. And I think it looks really cool because there's these little intricate little pathways that you can get through to get back onto the path if you want. And overall, just a nice and cozy cave. And I think it looks really good. There is one thing I do want to do though. <laughs> and I, I, it's killing me looking at it, but I want to do that. I just feel like that looked empty. Then do that as, as well, maybe. I don't, I'm starting to get back into the building scene. It's getting crazy. Uh, come on. Okay, we're just... Boom. Done. Done. That's the last one I'm going to do. I promise. Well, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, so it's looking pretty good. There's only one thing we really need to do left, and that is just kind of add a very subtle amount of... You know, leaves, nothing really crazy, but just kind of add some life to it. I love doing this. This is probably my favorite step. 
Uh, I know one person said in the comments last episode, <laughs> they were basically like, why can't you ever do a build without using leaves? And that is 100% true. I don't know why I can't. It just, it looks good in my opinion to add leaves here and there. You know, it really just helps with kind of a balance of color. Um, but at the end of the day, it is kind of used as a cheating mechanism to make it look better than it actually is. I think a lot of people agree with that idea. That it basically just, it's there so that you can add it and use that as an excuse. <laughs> but I'm fine with that. I think it looks alright. So that is pretty much it. That is all I've got for today, but I do want to do one more thing. I want to talk about some things, but I'm going to actually get together a few comments from the last episode before we do that. But before I go into that, I want to give you guys a general walkthrough again. So what I'm going to do is go into spectator mode. And then we will kind of fly over. Uh, this is basically what it's looking like so far. And now it's actually looking like a normal System Z build. We've got pretty cool landscaping. We've got some interesting looking houses and some interest to it. Now, this is looking extremely messy, but that's exactly what it's supposed to look like. Um, but like I said, the idea is to cover this entire hill with this same style of stuff and make it so that you can absolutely see the pathways. I want to add some water and make it actually look really, really cool and like a legitimate frozen wasteland, but not a wasteland. <laughs> Didn't go to waste. It's definitely being used. But these are our houses, very basic houses. As you can see, I use purple here. That's the idea. I want to kind of start, you know, combining those colors into these houses so that there's some sort of difference to it. Um, but let's kind of take a general look and see what we got. So this is, you know, the first ridge. Got snow piling over. I got to get rid of some of the sand, though. That's the only bad thing. And then I think some gravel. Yeah, there we go. Uh, but then, you know, it flows on up. This isn't the entrance, by the way. Well, actually, I could probably do like a little port here. That could look pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, then we've got the basic ridge here with a little house on top, which is cool because you see it up there. It has some sort of interest. I kind of want to pile up the snow a little bit more, but maybe we'll just like add a tree over here or something. I don't know. But you've got that like sense of snow flowing down, which is really cool. But then you got the main prize of the episode, the actual tunnel. Very, very basic, but I think we studied some cool tricks here. Uh, I do have to do this side still. I'm not going to do that until later, though, because I don't know where I want to take the path. I know it's going to go over there in some way, but I don't know how I want to curve it out. But, yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much going to do it for today. All I need to do now is prepare a few things and try and get some comments together and end off the episode properly. So let me know what you think of this. Let me know what you think I can do to improve. And uh, send me your own designs on Twitter. <laughs> Alright guys, we are going to end off the episode here, but don't go yet. I know you're about to click off the video bad bad viewer I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you for watching first of all, but I want to go over the comment questions of the day last episode I asked you whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> That's uh, that sounds like a familiar series Hmm. <laughs> uh, but yeah last episode I asked you what you want for Christmas and here are some of my favorite comments blue swing says more of your Minecraft single-player world Don't you worry? That's what we're doing. I've got great episodes coming up every Friday at 2 p.m. Central Time. Uh, and I might do more coming in 2018. <laughs> Dora Papa asked, do you think you were a good ki kid this year? Um, I think so, relatively. <laughs> I'm a 21-year-old kid. I think, uh, I think I did a good job. <laughs> But yeah, uh, thanks for that question. And Iron Redstone Lamp says, and by the way, this is a channel sponsored. Thank you for sponsoring the channel, by the way. Bring back Sky Exchange. So here's the thing. Me and Minnie actually want to do some sort of Mafia modded series. Let me know what mod pack we should do. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Benjamin Stone says they want World Edit in Pocket Edition Minecraft for their iPad and a more Evo series. I would agree. World Edit and other plugins and mods would be really cool for the mobile editions of Minecraft. I think that's something that's been left out so far, and I think that could be a really cool spin on what we already have. And Evo is going to take off next year. Don't you worry. <laughs> uh, got a lot more of that coming, and I'm going to try and do more things with other members of the server as well. But that is pretty much the set of four comments that I chose. I'm going to choose some more next episode. There were definitely more. I'm sorry if I missed yours. Uh, today's comment question is, what is your New Year's resolution? Let me know. But guys, next episode, I actually want to take a break. Oh, look, a Christmas present. By the way, I'm recording this on Christmas. Merry Christmas, <laughs> even though it's past for you guys. 
So this is the farming area. As you guys know, I actually want to build something next episode. I think we're going to take a break from the snow place to work on this next episode. Like I said, I want to build a pumpkin farm over here. Not a pumpkin farm, but like a, a pumpkin pie farm. Because they're actually really, really good for food. They do like four hearts and they're very easy to make. So that would be a great addition to the area. Very basic design we're going to have, but it's going to be really, really cool redstone-wise. So that'll be what we'll do next episode. But guys, let me know what you think of today's episode. If you did enjoy, make sure to subscribe and consider leaving a thumbs up. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. My name has been System Z. You guys have been awesome, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.